Alright dude, we are on the causeway. On the famous causeway to Cedar Point. We'll be seeing you any guys. second now. Are you about to I can already oh. see it. Oh my god. I oh. oh my dear god. That is a dream come true right there. We're at Cedar Point. That's like wow. That's like one of the best, or not, not one of, that's the best theme park skyline out there. What's up y'all, Alex from Central Florida Enthusiasts. We're in Sandusky, uh, Armando, he's here. We're, uh, it's about 9.30ish. We're gonna start heading over to the park at about 9.45. Um, our reservation's for 10 o'clock, and uh, all the rides open up at 11, so let's go have a fun day at the park, y'all. We are in Cedar Point. All right, Cedar Point. And here's actually the new French Quarter. It actually one. looks fantastic. Just waiting for the access pass. I just traced my mask because my other one was just uncomfortable. But anyways, let's go ride Millie. All right, so we just got our uh, access pass. We're gonna come back at one, between 12 or one o'clock. Not sure what time yet. See, we gotta pass that here. So, I think we're gonna head over to Seal Vengeance, get our passes for that. <laughs> Hopefully they still have them. And uh, yeah, man, it's just so good just to be back in this park, man. I mean, I honestly don't even care if I ride much of anything. I just so excited to be back here. We just got off of Magnum. Oh uh, my, oh my. Our Monday's first time, and it was in the magic seat. <laughs> I think my back is still, my back is still hurting. In a good way, in a good way. <laughs> a very good thing. <laughs> man, but, this ride's man, insane. I, and I want to say thank you to Alex, because Rob's back by far. Got it, my, my favorite hiker right now. Oh yeah, Come easily. Hey guys, Alex from the future. Uh, just a heads up, in the next shot, uh, you, we're gonna begin the next shot with our... Uh, that was actually because he was taking a sip of water. Uh, we did not at all um, take our mask off other than to take a sip of water. We would literally take a sip, and then put it back on immediately before taking another step. We wouldn't. We weren't walking around 
with our mask off, holding our bottle of water. Um, we were, yeah. Um, with that being said, we highly, highly discourage anyone from not wearing their mask anywhere in public, especially at theme park. Um, I mean, this is our last defense against keeping these parks open, honestly. Um, so, with that being said, please wear a mask, guys. So, yep, back to the video. So, we just got off of Millie. Oh um, my god. Yeah, it's like, it's his number one, easily. E easily now. Um, so for me, dude, it, the, the Millie was hauling today. It was. I mean, absolutely we hauling. We did, we did get a key into the fact that it was the red train that we were on was usually the fastest running train on the on that's the inside word. The red train's the fast one. Um, yeah, dude. It was, it was hauling. Yeah, apparently, contrary to popular belief, um, everyone thinks the blue train goes faster. Actually, is the red, uh, red and yellow actually go faster. Uh, and then apparently, yellow just like has some issues with ghost trains and whatnot. So, red train's actually the best uh, train on this ride. We're heading on over to Steel Vengeance now. We'll see how this one goes. So Armando just got off the of Steel Vengeance and Oh my god, it's it's his number one. It's <laughs> I'm just like, dude. Millennium Force is gonna be your number one until you ride Steel Vengeance. And so and oh, I mean I was right, I mean who would have who would have called that? <laughs> uh, we're waiting for Maverick Access passes now. We got like 30 minutes. Uh, so we're gonna go do that. Anyways. Uh, Armando just got off of uh, Cedar Creek Mine Ride. That was actually his 99th coaster. We got Maverick. That's going to be his 100. This is going to be an awesome 100, man. Going to be worth it. Can't wait. Oh my god. We just we just did Maverick in the very back row guys. Um I think I might have even said I was considering not doing it. Um I've said it before in the channel before and I'll uh, I'll say it again just in case some of our newer subscribers don't know this. I'm extremely claustrophobic. If I'm gonna ride a ride, especially with over the shoulder restraints, I'm usually riding in the front row. I finally rode this in the back row. <laughs> oh my God. That was a that was a breakthrough moment. That 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 really was a breakthrough moment. His favorite B&M invert is Mon 2. My favorite B&M invert is Afterburn. I'm gonna wait on him in the exit and see if uh, he likes Factor better than Mon. So 
what's your complete review of this ride, man? My complete review of it? It's a very unique layout. I love it, but I still have to give the credit to Montu. It's just more, it's much more of an old school layout. I'm not saying that this ride is bad or anything. I'm just saying the, the loop, amazing. Kept its speed through the loop. The corkscrew, the corkscrews were also snappy. The cobra roll on the end, probably one of the smoothest cobra rolls I've been in on an inverted coaster. I still, I still think Kumba's smoother. Uh, in terms of inverting coasters. Oh, well, just in terms of cobra rolls. Yeah, but but this one right here, the cobra roll here, I didn't get, I didn't get any head banging whatsoever. Yes, so, and then of course, as y'all saw, he was in the third row, and my feet were tingling on in, in the death helix, dude. Don't underestimate the death helix. It, it has. It's a really big ride, but so to that point, I think this and Montu are they're neck and neck. This, if Montu is your favorite, nine times out of ten with both people, this is usually their number two. Yeah, this one is just below Montu. Exactly. I've been on a lot of inverted coasters. Saying putting this below Montu says it says a lot about this ride. Yeah. almost nine o'clock oh, and oh my god I don't think I've ever been this tired tomorrow. we'll do a half day tomorrow and then fly back uh, anyways I'll see y'all tomorrow bye well, we're here for uh, day two and then we fly back to Orlando tonight dude they, we're literally in line for the health screening, and they they literally said you had to have an access pass for Millennium Force, but yada yada yada. And then they said, and now Top Phil Dragster, it is open. It is My white whale is finally being conquered. Oh dear gosh, I could not be happier. I literally can just ride this once and go home right now, like right now. So we are in line for access passes for uh, Top Phil Dragster. We were in line to be the first uh, first people on the ride, but they basically told us that if it goes down or if it doesn't open on time, then we're basically out of luck. And if there's no more access passes, so. Uh, but then they also told us if we have the access pass, then. We can, uh, if it breaks down during our window, they'll honor it all day. And so we're actually going to do access passes instead. I think uh, to wait out our access pass, we're probably going to go ride uh, Magnum. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, we were just on that. We just got off. I don't know what to say, honestly. That, that first and foremost, the launch is obviously like, it's gonna be one of the best launches like ever. Because the launch, the launch itself, it's not the quickest acceleration, but you sustain it for a longer amount of time. Yeah. It's very intense. 
you, you definitely sustained that for sure. Like I was starting to get tunnel vision as soon as you hit that 100 mile an hour. And then you can barely keep your eyes open. And then you go with that 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 top hat, man, and you just get slammed with positive G's. It's just constant speed and positive well, G's. What are we doing next? Are we doing Maverick or Millennium? I don't know. I need to think about this, but I think I might actually like that better than Seal Vengeance. Millennium and Maverick. Are both uh, uh, I mean, are? <laughs> yeah, y'all see my skeleton mask. It, this was perfectly lined up when I got on. <laughs> it's like all the way back here. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just at a loss of words. This is a, a few days later. Uh, we had an absolute blast. This trip was a massive, massive success. Please uh, stay safe out there, especially during this pandemic. If you do travel, uh, please always wear a mask. Uh, hydrate, that is key. That is utterly key, especially if you're staying from park open to park close. Once an hour, get like the biggest thing of water you can. Uh, wear a mask, and then whenever you get back home, please go get yourself tested before you go to uh, go to your home parks again. Um, we won't be having any content until at least the first week of August uh, from here in Florida. Um, I'm getting tested on Tuesday, um, which actually by the time this comes out, um, I would have already been tested. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget guys, hit that like button if you like what you saw. Leave us a comment. Give us a, a subscription if you think we earned it. And um, anyways guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. Oh, you know,